Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Um, I think the things we like are eating really good food and seeing really good things. So we drove from Milan to Zurich, which we haven't done before today. And we came, you know, just classic highway, massive tunnel, and then come out of massive long tunnel into just uh, really big mountain land. Um, there was mist, and there was a beautiful lake, um, and it was like, everyone was like, in laptop world, and then everyone was like, Look over there! Ah! And so everyone's, you know, down with laptops, and we're all just like, stopping by the side of the road, and taking pictures, and it was amazing. And we came past Lake Como as well, in the north, north part of Italy. Oh my God. Um, and it's just like, you just come around these corners, and it's just like, oh, you know? Sheer cliffs, yeah. sparkling water, fluffy sheep. Yeah. Picturesque castles on the hill, like it's the glory. only thing that I've ever seen that's like that. The, the south of New Zealand has some similar kind of scenes to, yeah. to the like, scenes we saw today, except that they don't have, you know, they don't have houses. I mean, they have houses in New Zealand, but they don't have houses all over the. You know, these beautiful old, you know, four hundred year old buildings and things like that. So it's amazing. So that's yeah, what we love really about the Yeah. Bad parts of touring, being away from loved ones, loved ones, um, mm. getting banned rooms like that. Um, this is the most disgusting band we've Awful graffiti. Oh my god. Um, yeah. You don't even want to do <laughs> it. Offensive, offensive graffiti. Oh, I, don't, I wouldn't even I say I wouldn't even say it's a band room, it's more of a band closet. <laughs> yeah. You put your bags in there and close the door, but you know, <laughs> as a human being, you don't want to go in there. This is how we get treated. Oh, yeah, come exactly. on, This is what we have to deal with. <laughs> but it's okay. You know, we got fed and we had oh, a good drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good parts, bad parts. But you know, like I, it's, it's been said before, and I agree that, you know, the worst day on tour is better than the best day in the office. So. Yeah, that's Trumps. a really great quote, sure Jerry. I might like record that. Yeah, I didn't make it up. I wish I would. <laughs> so, what what did you do before you were rock star? Uh, we rock stars. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll run with it anyway. Before we were full time musicians. Jeremy used to put on a suit every day yeah. and catch a train for two hours yeah. and then type on a computer. I know! You did? I used to solve industrial crimes yeah. for the government. So, just say you're in a job and getting underpaid, you could go, Jeremy, sort this out, and he would come and have a word with your boss and fix it. Oh. Yeah, but if you were lying, I'd be like, get out of here. I used to work for the government. That was really good. Yeah. It was fun, while it lasted. What did you do? You'd have I trained to be a journalist, actually. Oh, really? You paid yeah. a chef as I well. Did, I studied for a while. I did journalism and worked for a public broadcaster in Australia. I used to work on a radio show as well. And then I had a career change and decided to learn pastry making. So I worked in a hotel in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then the band just reared its ugly head and said, Come to London! So I dropped it all. I went to London. Very impressive. What did you do before you were... Uh, Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> I'm... Um, Currently a psychology student. Psychology student, sweet. <laughs> That's good. Um, what are your goals for the future? Oh, wow. Goals. Oh, right. A really great second album. <laughs> yeah, first and foremost. We're planning to do that in January. Yeah. We have a hit record. In January only. And <laughs> Unlikely. And uh, do it all again. tour for the next year. Then have a break for a few years and then write a hit third this album. This is new. Yeah, I like to throw in. Yeah, yeah. right. Just yeah. Yeah, cool. Pro I think it's I, as us as a band. I think we've never really had many goals. Like we've never been like a goal setting band. Mm -hmm. We've had deadlines. Yeah. We've had goals. Uh, Often the same you know, thing. We've never sat down and said, you know, we can do this. In fact, this, this band started as an accident, and it's it really kept going. Because opportunities were presented to us and we okay. took them for fun. And then we yeah, put all our eggs in the one basket. So we need to make sure that there's fun things to do. Yeah. On the because it's been fun thus far. And yeah, I think, you know, I think bands, years of fun. bands break up when the fun stops, I think. Yeah. So you need to make sure that there's fun things to do. Yeah, it's not that hard. Shows are fun, so just play lots of shows and that's what we'll probably do. And it helps that we all like each other as well. Mm -hmm. I think bands break up when people start liking each other. And we share a lot of good meals and share great bottles of wine, and it keeps us all happy. Do you think we share great bottles of wine? Because I think we share mediocre bottles of wine. Because I want to start wine hunting. I think we need to do it. Going to vineyards on days off. Great bottles of wine are all about the company. That's just a lie. No, no, it it's is. Not because even, it's a total even, lie. No, even the best wine experts, when they pull together panels of wine experts, cannot agree on a blind taste test on yeah, what okay. is the most expensive bottle of wine. Mm. It's all experiential mm -hmm. and subjective. So when you've got four great people 
All right. At the end of the day, though, I want to go to more vineyards. We never go to vineyards. Yeah, that's pretty good. We can do that. Yeah. Um. Okay. I think. I think I'm finished. Great. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you very much.